Living the good life, turn it up all night. Raise your glass to the good times tonight. Hey everybody, it's Todd Longley, the rock and roll fisherman. I'm here today on behalf of the Manitoba Wildlife Federation to give you some tips on how to hammer monster walleye on Lake Winnipeg. Let's get started with the dead stick. And what I've got hooked on is a swivel that's that's hooked on by Power Pro line, that's the backing. Then I've got monofilament line, eight pound test, uh, XT Berkeley, tied to a flasher jig. As the uh, minnow swims underwater, it will agitate the willow leaf and it will actually cause a fish to strike. So I'm gonna get myself a handy dandy little minnow. You wanna, you don't wanna hook him through the head. You wanna hook him through the tail. The reason being is you hook him through the tail, he's gonna last a lot longer and you're gonna get a lot more action. And then I'm gonna make sure so he doesn't fall off, I'm gonna put a bait button on to hold him on. And here in Manitoba, we fish barbless, so we need one of these. This is the dead stick, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower it underwater and what'll happen is the minnow will swim around and it, he will make the willow leaf agitate and hopefully that will pr uh, provoke a fish to hit. Now what you want to do is you want to keep them about maybe a half a foot from the bottom and these rod holders are pretty cool because if the fish ever took your bait and you weren't paid attention, they'd just slide into here. It wouldn't go anywhere. You wouldn't lose your rod. We've got the dead stick set up. Now we want to try something different. I like to use a rattle bait. This is the new Vibe by Yozuri. It's a rattle bait. You can hear it. It's supposed to make the sound of wounded minnows. And what I've done is I've hooked a minnow head to the, the bottom treble and I put a bait button on. So just give it a little flavor. I call it lipstick. So when they bite onto it, they stick to it. When using a rattle bait or any other kind of lure where you're gonna be um, jigging, or in this case, snap jigging, which I'll show you how to use the rod to snap jig, you want a little stiffer rod. So you want about a medium, medium heavy because you want to be able to snap it back and then drop it down. What I will do is I will drop it to the bottom, I'll rattle it, then I'll snap it up. And once again, drop it down to the bottom, rattle it, snap it up. Just continue doing this while your dead stick's in the other hole doing its thing so that you are allowed two holes in Manitoba to ice fish and just continue. This is snap jigging. Drop it down, wiggle it, make that rattle rattle, and pull it back up. Once again, drop it down, rattle, pull it back up. Now, you don't always have to rattle. There, there's other things you can use too. Here we have a pelican lures trolling spoon. And what I would do is I would drape a minnow on the bottom barbs like so, and then once it's on, I'm gonna use the bait buttons to hold it on. And I'll put another one here. There, now I have the minnow draped on the bottom treble hooks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it down to the bottom. Once, in, once again, I have a medium to medium heavy, longer ice fishing rod because you're gonna be pulling it up and down. Now you won't be snap jigging with this, you're just going to be lifting it up and down. You'll just snap it up and drop it. So it's hit the bottom. So with the trolling spoon, all you do is pull it up, let it gradually drop down to the bottom, pull it up, let it gradually drop down to the bottom. And there you have some really, really good tips on how to catch big fish on Lake Winnipeg. You got the flasher jig, you got the, the rattle bait, and you got a trolling spoon. And with just these little techniques, it should increase your odds of catching some walleye. Glass to the good times tonight